We've built ourselves a boat. We have provisioned it for at least a few weeks at sea. And soon, we're about to head out into the great blue yonder to try and get ourselves home. And when Adam says they've provisioned it for a few weeks, he's not exaggerating. Here is what we're taking on our journey. We got rope, we got fishing line, we got balers, oars, duct tape, we have tarps, we have water bags, food bags, and a fishing spear. That doesn't help us make it. We weren't meant to. I think we're ready to put it in, huh? Let's carry it down. All right. At this point, we found that duct tape is not a perfect solution for anything. But with some creativity in a pinch, it's an adequate solution for just about everything. Now, whether it'll hold up to a boat that has to get us across the ocean, there's only one way to find out. OK. <laughs> and oh, it was the oh. wave. Oh. As the guys clamber in, ah. It's worth highlighting that the one thing they don't have is a map. <laughs> it's working. Oh, yeah, baby. Like real castaways, they're simply going to paddle until they find land or sink. <laughs> Pontoon's looking great. But with the breaking waves approaching, sinking is a very real possibility. Oh, no. Here oh. we go. Whoa. Hey. It took Woo. it. There's another one coming. Woo. It's bigger. Uh oh, dude! Oh. Here we go! No! <laughs> <laughs> There's no two ways about it. But those breakers were intense. Whoa! <laughs> Remember, we're sitting there in a canoe made of duct tape, Come on. paddling towards waves that are like three or four feet higher than the prow of our boat. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about. It was absolutely terrifying, but once we made it past, totally knew we had passed one of the worst hurdles we could and the boat was going to be OK. Adam's right. Having survived the breakers. How does she look like she's holding up in the water? The main question now. Looking great. Is whether the canoe will hold together long enough for them to find civilization. Man, it is hot out here. Given that we're in the ocean and it's about 90 degrees, we've got both in spades, but the only bailing I'm having to do so far. Adam, I've got a little water back here. Is because of water that's being splashed into the boat rather than any sort of leak. Are you saying my oar technique sucks? Two hours in, and with their island now at distant memory. Uh, I can't see the shore anymore. We're in open water now. Adam and Jamie start raiding their provisions. First, water. You want some? and then food. Three hours in, and an impromptu fishing stop there, right there. Ah. is all that slowed them down. Ah. Ah. I think you missed it. As three hours becomes four. Dude, I'm going to take a little break, OK? And four becomes five. Let's just hope we're not paddling in circles. <laughs> Let's put this maritime masterpiece in context. Adam and Jamie's yesterday's news broke apart in 20 minutes. Their duct tape dinghy was on the water not much longer. Try not to put your feet through the bottom. And their Alcatraz escape raft was an accident waiting to happen. I have no idea where we are. But their duct tape canoe has now been in the open ocean for over half a day and is still going strong. This boat? Strongest case yet, the duct tape is a frickin' miracle material. Yeah, there's no underestimating the power of duct tape. With neither a leak nor a tear, you might say it's been plain sailing. And what's more... Dude! Land! I see it. <laughs> at last, after close to seven hours at sea, land looms large on the horizon. 